Let them know that you and me and Miss Yoshido are all here with them, safe and sound. Well, you're partially true. Hello, everybody. My name is Karatek, and I'm back in the grave with another episode of Corpse Party. Now, I asked a little poll and asked what people would like to see, and Corpse Party won Dead Space from a close second, so I'm going to record Dead Space after this. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did read a little bit of a guide to try and get my bearings back. I didn't read too far ahead, just this next section right here, so I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get the bad ending first, and then we're going to go on and continue the game the normal way. Uh, Why does she look so fucked up? What is it? Did she just get possessed by an old woman or something? What the hell was that? And then she... That was a very angry grandma. That's not cool, grandma. I had the cookies you offered. I ate them. I'm not being rude. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Shizaki, where are you going? Alright, so, what the hell was that all about? To get the bad ending here, normally you're supposed to go down in there and speak to her, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go back up to these classrooms up here. We're actually going to save here, too, so we can make this easy. So, if I, I love that you can actually have three saves per chapter, or five saves per chapter. I thought that was actually pretty cool. And funny enough, using an emulator like this will actually, your stuff will work normally. So I thought that was really fantastic. It means you don't have any fear, like, oh my god, my save state messed up. Oh wait, my game actually saved, so that's really nice of them to add into the emulator. Alright, we're gonna come up here. Actually, it's this classroom, I think it was a classroom above us. What we're looking for is two switches. Two switches. Okay, nope, wrong way. No, is this the right way? Yeah, this is the wrong way. You try to go in here. Uh, what the? I get the crap smacked out of you. Hmm. I love this music, though. I one thing about Corpse where they really enjoy is the music. I think okay, so this isn't the classroom. There's a classroom that's got a door that we need to find. It might be the starting classroom we were in. Let's go check that one out. Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be it. Door is nailed shut and the nails are hammered tight. It's going to open through any normal means. Use the nail puller? Yes. Well, the success of losing every nail and opening the door, the rusted old nail puller broke apart in the process. Okay, and I'm going to save state there. Just in case something happens. There's a piece of scrap pinned to the wall. Even as dark spots dotting the page realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be struck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the message of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush you in the strongest will is demolishing all someone's reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Well, you know what we're doing. <laughs> Through your control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. Is that ever jutting up from inside? Yes. I was gonna say, it's the same. So, oh! Oh boy, we get to deal with Ghost Boy again. Mmm, joy. Okay, let's head down here. I kind of wish you could grab a board you've used already, but I'm assuming that's kind of what they do in Resident Evil, where it basically says that if you use it and it's worthless, you don't get it back. Uh, which is good for inventory systems, definitely. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, God. That's uh, one thing I don't like about this game. Sometimes it's kind of confusing to see where you can and can't walk. I would love... Oh, God. 
I'd love to make my own horror game in a style of Corpse Party. It's funny because you can actually get RPG Maker and you can buy a Corpse Party pack, which basically has all of this to use at your disposal, which is kind of awesome. I think it even goes up to Blood Drive. Not Blood Drive, like the new Blood Drive, but the hospital one. Blood Drive is one that's coming out on the Vita very soon. And yeah, so this is going to lead to a bad ending, apparently. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system rigged up with a network of fine virtue transparent threads. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Thunk. I'm assuming the kid kills me or something. Oh, Shizaki, what you doing? Kishinuma, where are you? I don't know. What are you doing? Don't leave me up on myself. What the fuck? fuck just happened I know it's a bad ending but what the hell is that did she just get shot do they did they even have a gun in this game was it a wire was it a bullet was it a nail what the hell don't worry we have the power of safe states you'll be okay in a couple minutes what in the violent hell happened to her uh, Sh Shinozaki. Uh, why? Oh, no. No! So I can't really do that. Wait. Please, just end this. Why is this happening? What's the point of it all? What the hell do I have to go put through all this? Why? Why did you have to die? Is this someone's idea of a joke? Ah, it's Jinazaki! Why do I have to see you like this? Why couldn't it have been me instead? Well, shouldn't have asked for that. That clipped his side, come on. I need someone that actually cut him in half. Rich. God damn it. I mean, you asked, dude. You did ask. Swear. Four-fingered man, we meet again. Um, even, I guess. Oh, that's right, that just saves system data. Okay, we're good there. So we should, in theory, be able to continue. Aha, nice. So since I saved prior to not talking to her, we can go back, load the game data, and then we can continue on from there. See, this is why I really like this emulator, because if you ever have an issue like this, or you want to unlock something without completely screwing up your game, you can do it, which is nice. You don't always have to rely on save states, but it essentially gives you 10 saves. Or if you just want to play it authentically and don't use save states, well, you can do it that way too. Let's go talk to Shinazaki and see what's up with her. Hey, crazy lady, how you doing? There you are. What do you do? No one is saying that. Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. We're going out together to celebrate. You're like 14. What the hell? Why do you have a kid? What are you doing? That's disgusting. Uh, I mean, I guess picking your nose is kind of nasty, but why are you both looking at me like that? Because you're freaking screaming. Have I answered your questions properly and in a timely manner? If so, can you please leave me five stars on my service card? Thank you. Shinozaki, yeah. I'm trying to be funny and I'm getting used to my new sleep skater. I'm sorry. What, what's wrong? Uh, you were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. Is she not aware? 
That's for the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all the hell by now. Uh, never mind. Probably my attitude. Don't worry about it. Alright, now I know for a fact that down here is the second victim's memoirs. Victim's memoirs. 2-5. I hold in the palm of my hand a piece of a person's body. A piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to her head, and now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy. I just keep squishing in the palm of my hand as if I'm testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. It's a good way to get some good butt muscle action going. There's gonna be a slight skip there. I'm sorry about that. I had to let my, uh, we're watching a friend's dog and I had to let her out, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna get right back into it. Like I said, oh, what the hell? Uh, it said ghost from before. It left the classroom. Don't pen. Don't let it touch you. Oh, so first it's don't let it look into its eyes. Now it's don't let it touch me. Okay. Freaking creeper ghost. At least it's just a kid. Thankfully, it's a slow ghost. And, yeah. Wouldn't it suck if these things could fly and go through walls? Like, just imagine that. I mean, well, they can kind of teleport, but still, it doesn't count. I mean, these things can easily be stopped by going around a small crack in the floor, so I'm not complaining. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome to me. So one thing that's always awesome on an emulator, whenever you're trying to so, yeah, save or load anything, you can just hit this to speed it up, and it will actually speed up the loading and saving, which is kind of cool. Okay, we're going to go up here. I'm pretty sure there's... we got to go in here. There's a, there's a door with nails, yep. Yep. With the success from loosening every nail and opening door, the rusted old nail puller broke apart in the process. Okay. There's a piece of crap here printed on the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize there are tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are into some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. Curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. But where the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them, curses that can crush you in the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Well, speaking of, victim's memoirs, 3 5. I've been searching every last corner of this school building, trying to find a way of escaping with her. But it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty, so hungry that it feels like my stomach is eating itself. And every moment it gets worse, it's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find us way out of here. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. It must be a very awkward conversation. This. Well, that explains how we get across that gap. <laughs> I was thinking, like, there's not a board long enough to do that. How are we supposed to? Answers my question. Let's go and get out of here. But, I mean, going on about like, how would you tell someone's family that? Honestly, what kind of conversation would that lead to? Oh yeah, we got trapped in some spoopy house, and then, uh, your daughter let me eat her. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. She tasted great, I'm not gonna lie. You guys, mm, excellent bloodline. High quality, honestly. Super high quality. I kept her eyeball around as a friend. Here, you can have it. You can keep it in a jar or something, you know, as a memory. Yeah. Just don't forget her. Although, technically, if I remember how this game works and the school works, technically, everyone's already forgotten her. Aside from the people in this school. Because I remember one of the older games, and I'm not sure if it translates into the newer ones, because this is like a remake, and it kind of messes with the story. Because originally, you could save the teacher, and she saves the student later on. But this is almost a totally different story, so... Not totally different, but a few things have been twisted and mixed around and stuff. Let's pull this on and see what happens. Previous control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system, rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting up from the side, yes. But what ends up happening is when you leave, 
everyone forgets you. You become non-existent. You literally disappear from everything. You... How the... Are you fucking real now? Oh, the jukes are real! Jukes for Jesus! Ha! Get wrecked, kiddo. You little shit! That's unfair. The game stopped and let him catch up to me. I get that he's a child, but come on, he's a spirit. That's not fair. We're gonna go this way now. And now that we've done that, I'm actually gonna save a state real quick, just to be careful. The curse running zip behind by those who lost all reason must be read in the proper order. If one part is skipped, the next will never appear. If you insist on reading such dangerous words too, I pray you have a strong will and a sturdy mind. Well, Shinozaki's completely out of her mind, so... Probably the wrong people to be telling. Okay, on to the third floor again, from the opposite side this time. Main building, second floor, East Hall. All right. What's wrong? You mean to stop for a minute? No, I just have to seem like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume. Go ahead. I love how they do this. Uh, she is basically... She drops her save points. It's just... It's a neat little idea. I really like it. Come on. Okay. Saved there. Looks like that area is good. This is the infirmary, so let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, same creepy ass music. Medicans. Medicans, really? There's an open journal in front of The journal seems to open stack in the. Mood, okay. How to remove a tongue? Yep, same stuff. Yep. So I don't think there's anything in here worthwhile. Um, so the bug was there when these two walked by. Okay, so there's nothing in here that I need, unless I need to use the bed. I doubt they would want to rest, though. Yeah, they don't want to rest. Okay. This See, this pair is smart. They know not to do stupid crap. Hmm. Bloodstain's gone. Size abs. Door seems to be affixed. Okay. Oh, well, I guess we just explore. Okay, so you know we can go that way. There's a board here. Who left this board here? Did I leave this board over? That was the class. Okay, this is where Miss Yui is. She's literally right there under a very large shelf of. Was it silverware or something heavy? I can't remember. Oh. To my size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student close to the in high school. ID name tag. Byakuran Senior High School. Class C4. Suke Katayama. Did you hear a voice just there? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. I don't know. Floor. So it's either a ghost or person hmm what is this can't read that okay let's go ahead and victims remorse four or five i'm running these memoirs with sticky hands but it's not me that is sticky with something else i hope you are not mad about this maybe you'll think i'm a horrible person but i got hungry again really hungry like i was about to die so i did something i shouldn't have done I promised myself I would stay sane. I promised myself I wouldn't do what I did, and I am so, so sorry. I really, really sorry, really sorry. But there is no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I've been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. I ate it. Oh, well, shit. Did these save states bother anyone? If you want, I can cut them out. I just... Okay, let's... So I got led all the way up here to go to the lavatories. Whoa! Yeah, <laughs> it's my buddy! But, hey, did you just hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. We should leave this room right now. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. What if I have to pee, though? Uh, 
see me staring down at the floor and grinning wildly. What is it? I don't know, nothing. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm gonna say, if I really get back, what do you do? Take light as it does. Because I just think that somebody's watching me. Hmm! Practice my imagination. No, there's not Ayami right there, or Yumi. It's not a Yumi staring literally right at you. Crazy bastard. Right, do I have to chill this time, or? Who the hell is that? What's this? Hmm, seems stained, but with what? Well, this looks like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear her voice. No. No, please, don't. What? What's wrong? This is the part where you run like hell. Whoa, whoa. Guess the spider. Oh. Damn it all. What the hell's going on around here? You don't even want to check, dude? The door is open for you. Can I go back, or... We know what time it is. Make sure don't die if we can check this. Room. What the hell? This is pitch black inside. Neat. Dark sense of for prison's body. I feel like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. Okay, well, there's nothing. I, was, I wanted to check to make sure. Alright, let's go see what she's going on about. Are you alright, Shizaki? No, she is not alright. <sighs> Grandma's back. Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. I don't care if you're innocent. You're looking as buried alive, aren't you? You're mine. I'm just on that sharing with the likes of you. Can I just slap some sense into her, please? Just a smack in the cheek. Usually works. Clean up is a real pain in the ass, too, you know. Have some pity. What's up? I'm assuming this is a bad thing. Who are you? Ow. Oh, the hell? That really hurt. I believed in you. Why does anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single what you're saying. Oh, well then. The poor girl, she's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Position is a frightful thing to have your thoughts push deep down to the pit of your soul and someone else take their place. You're a bad spirit, though. Um, kind of talk. So, an unnaturally wild smile, wide smile stretched across your face. Housekeeping! Um. Uh, okay, yeah. So. What, what the? the powers in your cheeks pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. I think I heard Mysterious voice. Don't leave her side, she said. Does that mean. Let's leave her side and see. I think I should stay here for the moment. Alright, she's going absolutely nuts. What am I supposed to do? It's not like I can smack her. Hmm. I don't really understand what I'm supposed to do here. Start staring with my...
I did something right. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Is this a bad ending or a good ending? Crap. So smoke I see. To hell that stall. Right this instant. Hitting the tobacco again, are we? Or were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't warn you that would be happen what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a problem child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. Your own life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. I should ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family. They never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever, we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> parents aren't exactly proud of me, shall we say. Uh, I said what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I would be half as relaxed in the Missouri's office here with you. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping up babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there's so many brats like you in this world. Damn, this te gym teacher, just, he's got no chill. He does not care. He goes in. It's the reason me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass and drop out. You think as long as they pay school tax or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies? Well, newsflash, they're not. Hmm, what's with that look? So who did he refer? Oh, first time for everything. Bat! Mr. Subota? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha, thanks. Hmm, Shinazaki. You've got great eyes, you know that? Why is it always the gym cheapers that are fucking creepers? Always so clear and focused. The instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem? You come talk to me about it, okay? I'm not sure if that was him being a good teacher or honestly being a creeper, but since this is a Japanese RPG, I'm assuming he's a creeper. That guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? A sad fate would be to get kicked out of school for a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. He's a creeper, and you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think it'll let it turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Uh, sorry, whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're teaching up for class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shizaki from class 1-3. Start up half button like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Damn, she dipped! Hey, right, you told him the first person was calling. He, I was lying, of course. Ah, so that's how the two met and became friends, and why he actually started caring. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so that was... I never actually thanked you for what she did that day. For crying on my behalf. And I swear to myself as soon as I realized you were trapped here. That I protect her no matter what happens. It's supposed to be a test. To see if I really meant that. No matter what happens part. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Because I want to see what happens if you click the other option. What the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shinazaki. Oh. Please, come back to me, Shinazaki. I'm gonna find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place. Okay? There's no reason. No reason we to stay like this. So warm. 
Kishinima? Where? What? Did I hit your... Save her life and she bats me in the face. Ow. Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What, what do you... So what you're saying... Yeah, so for all the corpses you found in here... have been people we've never met before. But that stain... What is that pain by someone really close to us? Serena's mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. The next thing I knew, I was in your arms and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't you just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And I voided my bowels and everything went dark. Well, no matter how hard I struggled, my arms, my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shizaki. It wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. Well, we searched the whole building. Mystery really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, it's very best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Okay, well, we're gonna save state here. Because I'm pretty sure that's the good one. And then we're gonna load state and see what the other option would have done. Fire shoots again. Oh, what the hell? That really hurt. So it doesn't actually change. Okay, so it doesn't change. That's great. Okay, so this episode has been going on for a little longer than I would like. I usually try to keep about 30 minutes long, and it's a little past that. So I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I hope you're looking forward to more. I'm going to be here to the grave. Thank you all so much for watching. Welcome to town, everyone.